cuddle up with your pup this weekend. That is what you're going to want to do. It is going to be cold and snowy. Just want to recap what's going on. The wind advisory has been lifted. Good news. It is still going to be windy, so it doesn't mean the winds are going to subside. It's just they're not going to meet that criteria level. Because of that, the flood warning has been lifted. It is an advisory. We still have a lake effect snow warning and a winter weather advisory. I'm going to cover it all. First off, temperatures now down to 27. We were up to 38 degrees, so the cold front has gone by. The winds are an issue. They are now, these are the sustained winds, so this is what's just currently going on. 23 miles an hour in Buffalo, 27 miles an hour in Grand Island. Everyone is feeling the wind, the gusts right now. We did have a 52 mile an hour wind gust currently 43 in Buffalo, 45 in Grand Island, 39 in Angola. So not quite as bad as it was earlier. Once that front went by, that's when we saw the highest peak wind gusts. I want to show you what we're going to be doing tomorrow. We're going to continue to see strong wind gusts in about the mid 40s throughout the night tonight. Tomorrow we'll see wind gusts up into about the mid 40s till about noon, then watch what happens. These slowly subside. By the time we get into tomorrow evening, they'll be backing down. So the wind, we'll have to contend with it for a while. It will still be windy tomorrow. It will blow around the snow, which is going to be falling. It's going to be cold, so it'll be light and fluffy. Easy to really reduce visibility. No real heavy bands setting up just yet. Batavia, I think you're going to be under the gun on this one. Let me show you what's happening right now. Pretty much light, a little bit of a moderate activity near Lewiston. All of this is rather light over Orleans County. Picking up Attica right now, also you're going to be under the gun. Batavia will be Corfu too. I'll show you that in just a second. Pretty light here in Buffalo as we make our way into the southern tier. Holland is seeing some activity and scattered down throughout the southern tier. I want to go over to Future Look and kind of stop it at a few locales to show you what we're looking at. I'm not expecting much in the way of organized bands until about 6 o'clock this evening. That's when I think things are going to start to get cooking. And we're going to look for a band to set up actually a little north of Buffalo, like over Grand Island, and then it will make its way into Buffalo proper and then extend over into Genesee County. That's where it's going to sit throughout the overnight. And I watch this area right here. You're going to see a lot of intense activity just east of Buffalo. And it's going to stay there overnight into tomorrow morning. That's why I think Alden, uh, Corfu, uh, Attica, you're the area that I think is going to see the heaviest amount of snow. Look at that. Tomorrow morning, this band hasn't shifted much. Other areas, pretty, out, uh, pretty much out of it. This band is just going to sit there till about noon tomorrow. Watch what happens after noon. Now, much lighter in intensity. By 3 o'clock, the event's over. So we're going to have to contend with this until about noon, the heavy stuff. At about 3 or so, everything starts to break apart, and then the whole event is over. Now we get into Sunday. An area of low pressure is going to come down from Canada. It's going to bring in a round of snow early in the morning. By about noon, it'll exit. We could get into another little batch of snow later on in the afternoon, and that should be about it. Snowfall amounts. Once again, following right along where this band is, and here's our little monitor here. You can see just south of Buffalo over to Batavia, the heaviest amounts. We'll zoom in to show you what we're talking about. And once again, those same areas, Attica, Alden, Corfu are the heaviest amounts. Then just south of Buffalo, Hamburg, once again, into uh, West Seneca, you could see the heaviest amounts. And that's where we're talking anywhere up to 18 inches of snow. I think the city of Buffalo, 9 to 12 is probably a, a good estimate for there. So for tomorrow, 24 will be the high. The heaviest snow will be in the morning. It will begin to subside later in the afternoon. And then by late in the afternoon, it'll be over. We'll look for a high of about 24. Winds will be gusting up to about 45 miles an hour till about noon, 1 o'clock, and then the winds will begin to subside. By nighttime, it'll be 17 with just a few little light snow showers here and there. Sunday, snow in the morning, a generalized snow with that system making its way in. I think we'll have a few snow showers in the afternoon, but not quite as heavy at all with a high of about 24. And look at the nighttime lows, down to about 10. Here's a peek at the seven days ahead and what's coming our way. Oh, goody, look at us. Each and every day we have a shot of seeing some snow. And those daytime high temperatures aren't. We'll be right back.